Sometimes we need our artboard to be the same size as our artwork. And this is a quick tip on how we achieve it. So here I have an artboard with three skulls. And as you can tell, there's a lot of white canvas all around this artwork. And maybe I want the artboard to be as small as possible. And therefore we want to adjust it to the artwork. And there's a few ways we can do this and I'll show you some easy ways. And also I'll do some troubleshooting for issues that can appear. So first of all, if we need the artboard to fill out the entire artwork, what we will do is go to object, go to artboards, and then simply select fit to artwork bounds. This will fit the artboard to the entire artwork. And when doing this, we can run into an issue that I'll show you right now. So let's go back, because when drawing our artwork, we could by mistake leave a small object like this, which will be invisible if we deselect it. And if we now go to object, artboards, and fit to artwork bounce, it will look like a bug, but it's actually just because we haven't deleted this small object right here. So now when we try again, it will fit to the artwork. So now let's say for some reason we want to keep the entire artwork, but we only want the artboard to fit around one of these skulls. And to do this, this time we want to select the object we want the artboard to fit, then go to object, artboards, and this time we want to select, fit to selected art. And this will fit the artboard to the selected artwork. Maybe we just want to save a file with one of these skulls before continuing our artwork. But we can run into an issue with saving artboards while still having artwork outside the canvas. And I'll show you how to get around this. So let's try to simply save this skull. So go to File, go to Export, and you can save this as a JPEG or whatever file type you want. So let's save this to the desktop. So now if we take a look at the desktop, we can see our file right here. But as you can tell, we saved the entire artwork and not just the one selected skull. So here's the reason for that. If we go inside Illustrator again, when saving the artboard, there's one specific thing that we need to remember to only include the artboard. So when we go to File, go to Export, and we can call this 2, and then you see this checkbox right here that says Use Artboards. We need to check this checkbox if we have artwork that goes outside the canvas. So now if I click Save, we can see that we have our single skull right here. Now you can watch this next video that YouTube recommends for you.